In this video, I'm going to show you how you can develop an API in two different ways. If I have a API definition, I can go ahead and import my API using that definition. But if I want to generate something from scratch, I can use a boilerplate template. To do that, let's go ahead and start creating an API. Let's look at, let's call this example API. I'm going to author a definition from scratch to show you what a boilerplate might look like. Here I can set my definition type as well as my definition format and go ahead and create that specific API. Here you can see the outline on your left hand side. It allows you to jump into your particular YAML file and look at the various different components. I can also take a look at the references accordingly and I can also edit directly within the YAML file. I can also beautify my YAML as well as wrap my text. The boilerplate is a great place to start, especially if you don't have an API definition to work with. But if you have an API definition to work with, I will show you another example where you can use your existing definition. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and import a definition that I have. I have a definition here that I have available in raw text. I can see what type of definition it is as well as the files that I have available. And I can take a look at my definition accordingly. Here I can see the various paths that I have available in my definition as well as my server URLs and all of the info that is available. In this case, this is an OpenAPI 3.0 definition. I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new path in this YAML file. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can add another what any violations look like. Here I can see that I have a violation within my YAML that creates invalid properties. I can see that directly within my YAML file. I can also take a look at any of the rules that are available when it comes to building out this particular API definition. For example, there are security rules as well as governance rules. I can, I can also take a look at some possible fixes which are available within the Learning Center documentation in Postman. I'm also able to hide some of these depending on my specific reasons. Once I have something that I'm happy with, I'm going to go ahead and generate a collection for this particular API. Now I can test out my endpoints directly within my collection and test out any endpoints that I might have created. Once I'm overall happy, I can take a look at my documentation for this particular version of this API. And I can also generate specific code. If I go to my most right hand corner, I can see the code generation and I can generate server boilerplate code from my API schema. I can generate code in Go, Node.js, Java, Python, and I can select whichever language and framework that I might be interested in. 
Once I generate this code, this code is downloaded into my local computer and I can take a look at what this code looks like within my coding IDE. I hope this gives you a better insight of how to create and develop an API using a definition and a schema, whether that be creating something from scratch or working with something that you have pre-existing. Thank you. Have a great day. <music>